Few people in the history of chess have been as admired or renowned as Garry Kasparov, the previous world champion and iconic grandmaster. Kasparov was unrivaled in chess for decades, during which time he repeatedly defeated the game's most accomplished competitors. Nevertheless, an obscure chess streamer challenged the chess juggernaut to a high-stakes internet match in a twist of fate. The intergenerational rivalry and innovative incorporation of online broadcasting into classical chess made headlines and fascinated viewers worldwide. In this video, we'll go into the exciting matchup between chess legend Garry Kasparov and a risk-taking streamer. The unraveling of Ray Enigma's mysteries, his moniker, Ray Enigma, was selected to symbolize the mystique surrounding his strategy in chess. He started his career as a chess fan who broadcasted his enthusiasm for the game on several streaming sites. It didn't take long for him to amass a devoted following because of his amusing demeanor, insightful comments, and eagerness to break down complex techniques. What was initially just a casual pastime rapidly evolved into an intense goal for him to better himself and encourage others to do the same via his chess streaming. For the chess community, Ray Enigma's open dare to the legendary former community champion Garry Kasparov was a brave and unexpected action. Many people thought that the challenge was nothing more than an elaborate marketing gimmick or an excessively lofty fantasy. However, Ray Enigma's genuineness and the belief he expressed in his remarks attracted the notice of not merely the chess world as a whole, but also Garry Kasparov himself. Many people were taken aback by Garry Kasparov's response to the challenge, which he accepted with modesty and enthusiasm. He liked Ray Enigma's dedication to chess and the endeavors of the chess broadcasting audience to popularize the game. He took on the challenge because he saw it as a chance to spread awareness about a game he was passionate about and encourage future generations of chess players. The first moments of the game. When the game began, Ray played d4, and Gary immediately reacted with knight f6, hinting at the possibility of the famed king's Indian defense. However, the game shifted into a symmetrical queen's pawn initiative after the knights moved to positions f3 and d4. Ray quickly castled to prohibit the pieces from leaving the board following bishop f5. While Ray played his knight on d2 and protected his inferior e4 square, Gary replied by playing his knight on d7. After Ray's queen moved to e2, Gary established dominance over white's location by placing his knight on e4. After a couple of additional moves, Ray made the first capture by seizing bishop's e4 after playing b3. Regrettably, this was a serious error. Ray placed his knight on e5 instead of playing a defensive move like a knight to e1 to spur more exchanges. As black's queen was on c4, white played a knight there, intending to invade with his piece on d6. Then Gary retaliated with a b5, effectively compelling white to commit the knight to d6. Then Ray placed queen h5 to disrupt black's king. The reverse d5 pawn became a potential threat after exchanging two rooks for the queen on e5. h6 evicted the queen, and the rook on c8 was putting stress on white's queenside pawns. To safeguard the c2 pawn, Ray was forced to return with his queen. In response to Gary's a6 protecting the b5 pawn, Ray played d4 with the rook. In reply, Gary played the finest possible move f4, which shattered White's pawn chain. Gary, the game-ending boss. After exchanging the pawns, Gary immediately moved in with his queen, g3, targeting the vulnerable pawn on h4. In any case, that was a major error. Next, Gary played rook d8, anticipating Ray would capture the pawn on d5, exposing his pawn on e3. After capturing pawns, Ray's time was running out, so he played c4. This got him into great difficulty once again. Gary threatened the back rank with a devastating move, rook b8. Ray's queen c1 move aimed to stop black from gaining access to the top level. When Gary moved to rook b1, Ray was forced to accept it, and the queen took e3. Then, Gary pushed his pawns to triumph by moving his queen to position d6. There was only one way for Ray to get a permanent check. A few seconds remained on the clock when Ray blasted it with queen f5. But the checks quickly ended, and black began to drive his pawn. In response to pawn to e2, Ray's only option was to promote his queen to the top rung of the board. At this point, Gary began to advance his other pawn. Instead of capturing the pawn, Gary played d2, setting himself up to make an additional queen. After giving a check, Ray put together his rendition of the queen. The black king was now entirely protected after both made queens, and a second queen was on his path. Unfortunately for Ray, he ran out of time before he could even quit. 
The gamers congratulated each other as Gary remained the ultimate chess master despite losing the unidentified streamer. That's all for this video. Leave your thoughts on this moment. Also, take a minute out and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. See you soon.